I am so proud of myself. Did you see those great big barrels ready to go to Goodwill? I purged, I got myself going and I did it. This is one of those days where the sun keeps going out and then it keeps pouring rain. I was going to do a uh, sit and chat with Moosey outside while he was having his breakfast because I wanted to tell you something that we're going to be doing within the next couple of videos. And he's involved. <laughs> and <laughs> the rain kept coming down and I had to come in. There's also some chit chat on this video about coping with aging and something about snail mucus. I loved it, just used it for the first time. Would you believe it? Stay tuned for all of this. Well, it's early morning again, 7.30, and it rained most of the night again. I swear I've been spending half my life putting the cushions from the chairs into the back of the van and taking them out. But the sun is shining right in my face this morning. And you can see I'm all dressed up in my oh, my flashiest moments. And my new best friend, Shamu, has followed me out and will stay with me while I'm out here. She sticks to me like glue and it's okay. I understand her, her trauma. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing the last two days. You're going to be very, very proud. I also have my wild glasses on. I love these. Okay, now let's see if I have the muscles and the strength to get these into the back of the car. Now, did I say you were going to be very proud of me? Look what these are. Look, I can hardly lift them. Purging. Look at this one, so heavy, purging. They must weigh 25 pounds each. I'm on my way to Goodwill to drop them off and I was in such a good mood yesterday. <laughs> you know, I've come to the conclusion that it's a mindset. Purging is a mindset. Some days you just cannot face it. Other days you say, you know, I think I'm ready to purge and I can go through those clothes and just get them in the pile to get ready to go to Goodwill. Other days I go through them, I say, oh, I might wear this or the ladies in the video might like this. But this is one thing that I rescued. Now, it's, it's something that appeals to my wild side. And you know, I do have a very, very wild side when it comes to clothes. I just love this. Now, I didn't buy it. Dubby gave it to me, but look at it. It's so colorful and so pretty. This did not go in the purge pile. I saved it just to show you. Now it might go next week. It depends on my mood. So ladies, if you're trying to purge, wait for the moment. It will come. Now this is just a dent in my purging efforts, and I'm making, making good progress. Maybe today I'll do some more, but I am getting ready to take that rail out of that closet room, and that has been a goal of mine. So I think the sun is getting a little better to cooperate with me for filming, and I'm gonna do a little more. Now, Moosey is still sleeping, and he's not out yet, but as soon as he comes out, then I can leave Shamu out, and I can go in and prepare his breakfast. But I do want to get busy today because I, I do want to go down to Goodwill. I have discovered that once you have made these purges, you have to get it out of the house as fast as you can. If you leave it around, you go back picking and saying, oh, where's that blouse I had? I, I That will go nicely with this. No way, I'm not capable of doing that. So away they go. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Oh, yay, okay, one more to go. Now I have done some purging in the shed too, but that's not included in this. I have to go in and bag up some things because I want to start putting my winter things out in the shed and I want to make room. So, full of energy today. You know, so far as time goes, 
it didn't take me any time at all. I think when you're in the mood for purging, it goes faster because your, your mindset is ready for it. And I started first with the rack and mostly on the rack were denim shirts, which I love. I didn't throw too many of those away. Got rid of a lot of the normal white type shirts and a few blouses and things that I didn't wear last year and I didn't love and they went out. Next, I started in a closet of fancy items. I knew I wouldn't be wearing them. I have one or two or three very dressy outfits for weddings or anything we have to go to a charity event. And I saved those and some of the others. I think Cindy, Matt's wife or someone else would like them because they're doing more socializing than I am these days. So, oh my goodness, I feel so good about what I've done. And ladies, if you can't get to this, how long has this taken me? A long time. Now, if you can't get to this, like I couldn't for a long time, keep trying it. You know, it was one of those days where I was having one of my, I don't know whether I can do anything today, lying in bed. And then I, it hit me and up I jumped and went into that closet, got the bags out and we went to town. So. give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> I think I messed up my new pink nail polish though. I was putting I was putting wild pink polish on to match my outfit today, but I think I messed it up with the bags. Here's Shamu, my new best friend, right at my feet, enjoying the beautiful sunshine. Want your breakfast? Come on. Here. Come on. That's a kitty. Yeah, sniff around first. She's looking and feeling so much better. Well, the makeup is trying to coordinate with the wild jacket in me, as well as the nails. And I think I found a lipstick that might, well, it's a, it's a shiny gel that Margie gave me and I put it on, on my lips. Well, this is one of those days where the sun keeps going out and then it keeps pouring rain. I was going to do a uh, sit and chat with Moosey outside while he was having his breakfast because I wanted to tell you something that we're going to be doing within the next couple of videos. And he's involved. And the rain kept coming down and I had to come in. And guess who was in first? She was back in her chair. His, why I keep saying that. He was back in his chair cleaning himself after breakfast, settling down with no desire to go outside. Besides the lipstick this morning, there's something else I wanted to show you. When I was trying to get ready to go outside uh, before seven o'clock, it was 6.30, I was sort of half stumbling around in the bedroom. I didn't want to wake Moosey. And I couldn't find my normal bio gel or uh, my Nivea was in the bathroom, but I didn't want to put that on. I wanted to put up the bio gel, but I couldn't find it. And eventually, just now, I found it in my travel bag. I, I had uh, brought it down to San Diego. But I've been meaning to show you this. This was in my stocking at Christmas. Either that or it was something Colleen gave me for Christmas. And believe it or not, <laughs> are you ready? It's snail mucus. And it's been making quite the go-round on TikTok and, and um, YouTube and all the shorts and everything. <clears throat> I hadn't really tried it until this morning because it was the only thing I could find after I washed my face. And I put it on a couple drops. Now, you would never know except for the name. And it's just like the bio gel. Honestly, if you've ever felt... <laughs> snail mucus. I'm sure you would say it felt just like it, but I love what it does to my skin. And do you notice how glowy I am today? <laughs> I think that's, well, maybe some of you don't like to be that glowy, but I do. And it does make my skin, especially at age 86, to look more alive and, and, um, and fresh. So <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about this another time, but just think about it for the next couple of days before I tell you about this. Colleen swears by it. And now after today, 
I just love the feel of it on my face and neck. Go figure. Who would have thought it? I hate snails. Now, I've shown you this cute little um, earring holder before, and I did tell you that I found it in the thrift shop. Many of you were saying, do you think I could find one? Well, I found some of these on Amazon, and I think you should go on, or eBay. It has little tiny holes on all three levels where you can hang your earrings with the hooks. The little hooks go right through them. And then down on the bottom, it has hooks for my hoops. And as you know, I love, love hoops. But I was trying to decide today with my wild outfit, perhaps I should find something else. Now, this is just a fraction of my earrings that I've hung here. But I think, what do you think about these today? Are they not appropriate for the day? Or something wilder? Let's see. Nope. I think these. So I'm going to change out my earrings and you can tell me what you think. <laughs> these sort of match the color and I tried with my nail polish, but I couldn't find that exact color. It does, this, this shirt has a little bit of orange in it. And <laughs> when I was purging, I thought, oh, this should go. But then I looked at it and I thought, no way. I would love that in some of my wilder moments. Hey, that's cute, isn't it? So I think I'll wear these today. Where's the other one? So this is not purging. I thought after I wore it once and showed it to you, I possibly could put it in the purge pile to go to Goodwill. But I don't think so. Because very often I have those moments where I just want to put something like this on. And I think also maybe in the summertime, when I'm not wearing a turtleneck, it might be kind of cute. It does have, um, I'm having trouble with this ear. Let's see, there we go. It does have little dolman sleeves. Isn't it cute? I mean, it would go nicely with my turquoise jewelry too, wouldn't it? So, I'm set for the day. Too bad I don't have any place to go, other than Goodwill. Well, I just want to tell you that I did have my eye exam on Wednesday. And um, it, my eyesight was not too far off from four or five years ago. I had an eye exam, I think, then, and I did have to get these glasses about three or four years ago. I did pick out a frame that's a little bit bigger, and it's uh, obviously tortoiseshell. And it's by Anne Klein, and I decided to go with the optometrist glasses. He gave me a great discount. They've been friends of ours, gosh, for 30 years. And Moosey and I have been getting our glasses. Mike and Colleen, a lot of the other kids go there too, for years, for years. So <clears throat> it's probably going to be another 10 days, two weeks, maybe before they come. But he fixed these again for me, so now they're not sliding uh, all around, and I at least have something to wear in the meantime. But they'll be good for a second pair of glasses because I actually still see quite well through these. But the bad news, well, it's not bad because I'm not going to do anything about it, and it doesn't seem to bother my sight, is that I have, what's that thing called that shadows your eye? Oh, gosh. Well, I have one of those in my right eye, not this one. And he said, the only way that might bother you is at night. And he said, you could have the surgery. It's very easy. But you know what? I've decided not to do that. Cataract. That's what it is. So I have a cataract in the right eye. And he showed me the difference between the good eye. Well, they're both good, thank God, because my sight is pretty good. Between this eye and this one, and there was quite a difference uh, this eye was a bright colored eye with a lot of little lines in it. And this one was definitely shadowed over, sort of grayish. Amazing that I still see so well. I want to thank so many of you. Almost all of you had something to say. When I said I was going to have a question and answer session where I wanted to know what you wanted me to do in future videos. And as usual, so many of you said, just keep doing what you're doing, tripping through life and how you're coping and what you're doing, your daily life. You liked my cooking. You liked 
my gardening. You couldn't wait till it was spring and see me out in those overalls again. Me too, quite frankly. You liked my chats with Moosey and so many other things. And a lot of you liked the Get Ready With Me makeup. Definitely some fashion shows. So once again, you'll see a little bit of everything, probably concentrating more from here on in about aging. And that was the topic that everyone said, people from their 50s all the way up into their 80s, how uh, do we get through uh, these aging years? How do you keep your spirits up, etc.? Sun is out at 7.15 in the morning. Isn't that beautiful? Well, I just planted a new basil. How can one live without basil for the kitchen? I have a couple of other things I'm going to try and transplant today. I have a couple of tomato plants, some dill. I'm getting all my herbs now, on. Look who is coming out. <laughs> and can you look behind you and see that beautiful jasmine? Oh, my goodness, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Fact, I picked some of it before and put it over by me so I could smell it. Oh, it smells beautiful. But you got some balsam? N no, basil. Oh, that's cool. It's balsam basil. <laughs> balsam basil. Well, it's 7 o'clock and we're out here because it's a beautiful day. And we had heard rain was coming again, but we're going to just enjoy it while we can. Do you notice that the birds are out? Rain? I fed them yesterday. They've already eaten half of the thistle seed on the sock. And of course they attract all the other guys. It's a little foggy down there in the valley, isn't it? So today I'm gonna transplant these tomatoes. They've grown a little bit too big right now. My dill is coming along, good. Dill is kind of difficult for me to uh, grow. I don't know why, but that's coming along. My garlic chives survived the winter and those are nice. I gave a nice big pot of uh, my garlic, of my regular chives to Margie, so I think I'll be getting another one. I'm glad we haven't cut down the jasmine yet. We'll let it grow into this huge bloom before it has to come down. As you can see, we have to get a new uh, archway, and it's just wrapped around this archway. This should be absolutely glorious in another week, as long as the rain keeps Between coming. Between the rain, I've been trying to bring out heavy coats and jackets that go into the wardrobes. Trying to get on with my purging. And um, I've brought out a couple of, uh, of course, the jackets, a couple of my capes, which I love. Haven't shown you these. Aren't these beautiful, this beautiful bouquet? These are capes. I haven't even worn this one. I picked these up somewhere for pennies gorgeous. So I'm starting to bring out all these, which do clog up the closet inside. Still need some of these. It's cold, so I'm not uh, putting them out for good, that's for sure. Our new tree has budded out nicely. Hear the birds? I'm sitting here waiting in front of Walmart and McDonald's because I have my eye appointment at my eyes examined at 2.30 and I had to come to Walmart first to get some bird seed. The little lesser goldfinch that eat that black niger seed were, they weren't coming this morning. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. It's in the 70s and all the other birds weren't coming because those birdies didn't have food and they're the first ones to come out. So I had to come here and get some thistle seed and um, I picked up some basil too. But when I got outside, I realized that what I thought was a black shirt turned out to be navy blue. That's why I need my eyes examined, although I'm not colorblind. And I have my new um, vest on that I picked up at the thrift the other day and I wanted to show you this probably won't get to show it to you, but it has these um, big flouncy kind of co a collar, big flouncy collar, kind of cute. So I'm having a light lemonade, waiting until my appointment time, and 
a big no-no. I have some McDonald's fries that I've dipped in ketchup. <laughs> I'm being very decadent. In lieu of the fact that I'm having fries right now, we're having baked salmon tonight with asparagus and possibly a sweet potato with sour cream and some chives. I still have some chives left in my garden. I'm just killing time. Check it in with you guys. Shamu sat outside with me this morning for about an hour. Very, very cautious, right by my feet and most of the time in my lap. But normally, if that door was open, the cat wanted to be outside. Now, as you know, for almost 14 years, Shamu has been an outdoor cat and surviving beautifully. He absolutely loves rolling around in the sunshine and he finds places in the shed or wherever to sleep at night under normal conditions. But when we discovered that the coyotes were around, I started bringing him in at night. Now that was a chore because he didn't want to be in. He had claustrophobia. Whenever, prior to this, whenever I tried to bring him in, he, the only way he'd stay in is if I had the front door wide open. He wouldn't stay in. So it's impossible for me. I know many of you had said, keep him inside now. Don't let him out at all. And that's going to be impossible. Shamu loves to be outside with the sun rolling around on the hot cement, the butterflies. So we're going to try and see how this works. At least when Moosey's out there, I think he might be safe and possibly through the rest of the day. I just have to make sure I bring him in at night before it gets dark. So unfortunately, I think that's the way it's gonna be. So I think it's almost time for me to go. One more bite. I'll catch you later. Well, I'm going to tell you that one of the comments was from a woman who I believe I might've heard from her last year as well. She's a sociologist professor at a, a college here in LA, I, I think if it's the same woman and she teaches a college course in aging. And of course, most of these are going to be college age kids. And she said that a, a lot, I, I don't know whether these kids watch me or that was one of the things she had them do. She mentioned that she felt she noticed my happy disposition, my energetic, well, as we know, sometimes I don't have the energy, but my my will to go on and my positive uh, attitude. And a lot of the kids had some questions about how I do all this. And I have decided that Moosey and I, and this has to do with men as well, and Moosey's going to be part of this. We're going to be doing something, whether it's sitting and chatting outside or in front of the fireplace here in the living room or the fireplace in the bedroom, but somewhere where we can be close together and we can talk all about this. And I told Pam that I would be addressing the answers to these. She had six main questions. Give me your input too, so that these college kids are not only getting input from Moosey and myself, but from you too. And they wanted to know, a lot of them felt that their aging grandparents were, were failing or they didn't have energy or they weren't interested in sustainable life. And, and they want to know how we do it and what we do if we do it. Now, I know a lot of you are alone. You're lonely. You don't have family. You don't have that. And maybe this will help you too, to get input from all the people that can find a purpose in life. And that's the main thing, to be able to um, sustain ourselves through these aging years. So definitely, Moosey will be involved in that video. And it will be in a couple of videos. I want to prepare a little bit for it. And I told Pam um, that I would I would be doing this. So this is going to be a fun video. We will answer some of these. I want your input on all of this because I'm going to encourage the college students and Pam to read all the comments. And whether you agree with all this or you are one of those grandparents that does not feel it your best, tell us why and what could 
happen to make you feel better. When I do that video, wait for that video, and it will maybe not be the next one, the one after that. Wait for that video. I want your input on that video. So there's no way I can transfer it. So wait for that video to make your comments and we will encourage these college students to read all the comments because it's important not only to hear from me, but from you too. You can comment about all the other things, but save your, your comments about coping with aging and answering these questions. Save those questions. <coughs> Thanks so much, my friends, for watching and enjoying. So far, your comments have been wonderful. Actually, in the last video, I got over 500 again. You're doing great, and I appreciate them so, so much. Interesting, interesting comments. Honestly, it's it's like doing five Christmas lists trying to answer them, and eventually, I think I'll get around to all of them. Maybe give that snail mucus a try. My face feels so good. In fact, I, I hesitate to say this, but even nicer than some of the other things I've been using. It's called Advanced, with an E-D at the end, Snail 96, Mucent Power Essence. And I, it's on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Give it a chance. I know the name is yucky, but... It feels good. And probably there's snail essence in a lot of the things that you use anyway. You'll never know. Bye for now, my friends. I hope you're proud of me that I got into that purging out there. And I hope that you're able to do it too. I will continue this. Maybe not today, but I'm going to try and keep it going. Goodbye for now. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And God bless us all.